Welcome to Craig's Magic Table. Want to see a cool trick? 1946, at the end of World War II, an unknown soldier walked onto the campus of Oxford University, went into the office of Professor Underbridge, who was studying parapsychology at that time. And he walked in and he said, I know the secret to being a psychic. And the professor says, Boulder Dash, either you are or you aren't. And he goes, that's because you don't know the secret. And he gave him this deck of playing cards. And he said, I'm going to leave these cards with you overnight. I want you to make sure there's nothing about this deck that can help me. They're not marked or gaffed or anything in any way. And I'll be back tomorrow. The next day, when the unknown soldier walked into the office, he was greeted by Dr. Underbridge and several scientists and several members from the OSI, which is their precursor to the CIA. And they were there to observe this experiment. And I'm going to show you that exact experiment that took place. My camera shy wife is going to help with this. Here we have a deck of playing cards. And I'll show you that these cards are well mixed. This was actually the Unknown Soldier's actual deck of playing cards. And in the psychic world, things happen in threes. There's the psychic, you know, I need about half the deck for this. Hang on a second here. So we'll take some of these cards here and we're gonna make a psychic triangle. And this happens in threes. And the triangle on your body is your face. Your eyes, nose, and mouth are the triangle. Now we've created a psychic triangle with these cards. Now, Lori, you have no idea what any of these cards are. Is that correct? Correct. And there's no way that anybody could know. You have all of these choices. You, which pile would you like to use? Just reach over and grab any pile. Which one I want to use? Which one do you want to use? I use that one. Okay, I'll give you that pile. Okay. And I, I want you to fan them in front of your face so that you can see the cards. Okay. And you're only going to mentally select one. And this is what Dr. Umbridge did. He picked a pile and he mm -hmm. just thought of one of the cards in that pile. So, but so that they know what's going on, I'm going to turn away and I want you to show them the card you're going to think of. Okay. Okay, I'm going to turn away. I am not looking. I want to make sure that you guys all know I am not looking at this. This is very fair. Laura, think of any one of those cards, the card you decide on, show it to the camera. And then when you've got that, you can just turn everything face down. So I can I not, did. Okay, so I can turn around and not see the card you yep. thought of. Yep. In fact, I'd like you to just gather these three piles together in any order that you wish. And I'd like you to mix them up a little. Oh, you got a damaged finger. Yeah. Uh, she's got a bandaged finger, so I'm going to mix them up. And honestly, these cards can be, yep, she's showing the damaged finger. <laughs> well, I'll give them a good mixing. I'm not looking at the cards, and these are honestly being well mixed. So there is no way for anybody, or well, for me to know, we're going to make another triangle, for me to know what your card is. And right now, you don't know what pile your card is going to be in, do you? No. And we're going to attempt to make a psychic connection with your card. And I'm going to build a connection, and you're going to build a connection. So you're going to do it first. I want you to wave your hands and I want you to decide on where, where do you think your card is? Which pile? Go ahead and do that. You think it's there? I'm going yeah. to turn away and I will show everybody. And you, by the way, did you show the camera the card that you were thinking? I did. Oh, they know. Is your card in this pile? No. And you can see every card? Uh -huh. I'm not hiding any? Okay. Uh -huh. All right. So we're still working on the connection. Between these two, where do you think your card would be? Let's see. This one. All right, very good. I'm going to turn away again. Is your card in this pile? No. Wow. It, it takes time to build this psychic connection. Now, that was your try. And now, I don't even know what your card is. I don't know anything about your card. I'm going to make another pile, and I'm going to see if I can find your card by using a psychic connection. We're going to make the triangle again. And I'm going to see if I can find your card just by... So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check here. Is your card in this pile? No. Oh, this is not easy, is it? And I, of course, I don't even know what your card is. I think it might be this pile. Let's see. Is your card in this pile? No. Wow. Wow. Okay, this is it. We're going to do it one more time. And you know, we'll make one more triangle. So we have both failed to find your card. We're going to try it one more time again. Which pile, get a sense for which pile you think your card would be in. All right. Let's see, did you build a connection this time? I did. There we go. So we did build a connection. Now, you are able to find your card because you know what it is. So you had that, that connection. I tried to do it blindly, and there was no way that I could do it, and I didn't. But right now, we know your card's somewhere near the top. We don't even want to know that. We're going to give the cards a good mixing so we have no idea 
where your card is. We don't know what card's above it, what card's below it. There's no way. Right now, you don't know where your card is. Would you do me a favor and give the cards a cut? I want to make sure that you honestly... Complete? Yep, complete it. I want to make sure you honestly you can cut them again if you like. And I want you to know there's no way that you could know where your card is. There's no way I can know what your card is because I don't even know what your card is. Is that fair? That's fair. However, I do know the secret. And this is what the unknown soldier told Dr. Umbridge. At this point, he says, I know the secret to finding your card and only I'll only get one try and I'll find it in this impossible. Because you're only thinking of the card. Uh -huh. You're only thinking of it. There's no way I could possibly know anything about your card. Mm -mm. But I know the secret of how to find it. Secret. S-E-C-R-E-T. What was your card? Ten of hearts. And I found the secret to finding your card. This story is absolutely 100% true. You can Googleize it. When the unknown soldier left, he left this hat. His, he left his hat in the office of Dr. Umbridge, and his name was nowhere in the hat. So a few years ago, they took some strands of hair out, and they did a DNA experiment to try to find him. I have the actual DNA testing right here. And they, the testing came back and said there was no match of any DNA strand like that on the planet. It's like he wasn't even from the planet. This is the actual DNA test results right here. And when we asked, was there a match, the test said, nope. So you know this is 100% true that everything I just said. All right, everybody, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon.